Grab those other ones. And a quarter, that's what I wanted. Okay, where are my cut pieces? You got them? Go ahead and dunk those. Oh, not bad. Those might be the best cuts you've ever done. It's pretty hard. Just the saw it doesn't cut even. Dunk them. Dunk them. Oh, look, what? You can feel them aerate when when you put them in. Yeah. See all the bubbles it makes. Yeah. Super porous. Brick is really porous. That's so cool. It's actually just spitting. Yeah, when you lay them dry, especially with regular mortar, it just it's awful. 
Does it just blow? Oh, it just, it literally locks up the second you lay it. It's really hard to lay them with regular mortar and get them to, you, you just gotta kinda eyeball them cause they're so, it sets so fast. Probably if you left it, yeah. This brick's a little, a little distorted here. This one's a little bigger. Yeah. It's down a little bit, but that's where its home is right now. Thomas. Oh, is there going to be a big stopping grain out in front on that concrete? Mm hmm. Okay. Move that bucket, please. That's looking pretty good. I know.
when I'm building the firebox, I like for all the walls to um, be tied into each other. Uh, I don't want to build to this corner and have this back wall just, you know, you could imagine if I, if I built this back wall up and then tapered it forward like a typical fireplace that a lot of guys will build, they just build the back wall in behind the two side walls. So they're, in, they're all independent. Uh, and there's a lot of cracking and stuff that happens in the corners when that happens. I don't like to do that. I like to take a little extra time and just t tie everything together. And sure, you gotta, you know, you, you gotta make some cuts, but I mean, the cuts are pretty easy. This stuff cuts really easy, it's soft. Um, so, you know, I pre-cut, I can pre-cut these ones ahead of time. Uh, and the, cause these ones are always gonna be the same. Um, well, I guess till it starts tapering. So I pre-cut a bunch of them and then it changes up here. So um, you can see that the next, the next, row actually just it, it runs by and so this one runs this way and then this one you know will run over that and so everything's tied together and i think that's how masonry should be this is the old way of doing it um because i do it that way when i start to taper the fireplace forward that means um instead of having one smooth wall that my bricks will have to step out every every course they'll have to step out a little bit and step out so they'll corbel out and some people might not like the look of that but all the fireplaces that have been built around my area in new england in the late 1700s they're all built like that um and you know they worked great back then and some of them still work great today so uh i don't really believe that the wall has to be perfectly flat and some people say it actually causes a little bit of turbulence that that might actually make it make it better whether it does or not i don't know so i want to show you guys how this fresh air uh is going to work uh, every fireplace needs combustion air from the outside and you know i talked about before how you can buy these metal kits that you can put in but they don't look very good and i don't really like to have the metal in the firebox so what I do is, um, I've done this for a little while now, is I make a little channel out of masonry and uh, I'll take a, okay, let me see the phone, I'll, let me zoom in on this. So I just take a half brick, it can be pulled in and out. And then on this side, you can see, you can pull it right out. And then you have as much air as you want. And then that's all the way closed. And then there's this channel that goes out to that aluminum vent that we laid in the side of the brickwork. Um, and then of course, you know, now I'm just gonna lay brick to cover this whole thing up. And then it'll just be filled with mortar on top after I lay the brick. Um, so we only need six square inches of, of air. So we definitely have plenty, plenty of space, um, plenty of air, and it's not metal, so it's not gonna expand. Um, so this is the one spot where the firebox is not gonna be eight inches thick because there's this channel here, so nothing you can do about it. Uh, it's just you know one, one spot. So I've put some Super Bowl behind here just because it doesn't have eight inches here. Um, it probably doesn't need it because there's actually eight inches here, um, but I had some and so that's why I've put some of that in. And it's just gonna be in that, that one spot and I don't need any more after that. Uh, this is an up close of how the fire box is going. Um, so nice tight joints. Backside, backside of the firebox gets barged up with a refractory. And just wanted to mention that I usually parge the back of all my brickwork, um, especially on a chimney or fireplace. The interior wall is always gonna be parged. 
and that really helps out with water penetration and stuff like that. So, um, that's where we are now. Now we're going up with the firebox and cover this all up and we'll probably talk to you later up here. Turn it off, it's bad.
Huh? Yeah. Oh. I'll just get a couple in on both sides and then you can try to run the middle in. Because so, the brick are a little wet, the mud's a little soft. I mean, the mud's good, but for wet brick, well, some of these brick aren't bad. Maybe it's just a couple of the ones that maybe it won't be so bad. I should tighten that one up a little tighter. See, you do one side at a time like that. It's called a lead. That's building a lead. So you got one mason on one corner of a building, one on the other, and you build a lead. Makes sense. You make it all to your marks. As long as he's on running the same marks as you, you'll be perfect going across. As long as you started out level, you know? So if you put your mark on one side of the foundation and he puts his mark on the other side, right from the foundation, you could be way off if the foundation's off. You know what I'm saying? If the foundation's good, you'd be good. So you just make sure everything's good before you start. And then all you need is measurements, you know? You got the right measurements, you got the right heights.
See, they're just, they're all saturated. That's why, like if we had a couple, dry, if we had a couple tongs of dry ones, it'd be a lot better. You're gonna have a tough go. You're gonna have a tough go at it. Couldn't get out of bed. In my dream, I was actually dreaming about working, so. Oh, so that makes it better because you well were. Just get for it. Were you having a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was dreaming about doing this, so. <laughs> about what? Working. Mixing mud or laying brick? Laying brick, maybe it was a fantasy. <laughs> okay, lay those two in. You're gonna try to lay it right to the top of the line. Not to the bottom of the line, not to the middle of the line, right to the top of the line. Yep. I've been watching you a little bit. Oh, there we go. Good? For who? This is like that country song. The little boy says, I've been watching you, Dad. Uh -huh. No? <laughs> And then he started swearing. Mm -hmm. Got some enough, is it? I wouldn't lay a brick on that. Why? I wouldn't even. I wouldn't handle my trowel like that either. What do you mean? I don't know what you're doing. Look at your mess on your trowel, dude. I mean, I thought my trowel was dirty. Keep it clean, or you're gonna keep it. Get it all over the brick. You have to you have to take a healthy scoop. A scoop. Okay. But your trowel's uh, smaller than mine. What are you trying to say? Wait, my trowel's actually bigger than yours. It's like a square centimeter. That's good enough for this. It's a good brick right there. I can see daylight between the line and the brick. I said lay it to the top of the line. It's close enough. All brickwork's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, it's because this one was a little smaller. It's smaller? Just a little thinner, maybe? I'll relay it. Listen, when you do it, you cannot handle, you can't manhandle the brick. You can't manhandle it. Uh, huh? What do you mean manhandle it? L like you you can't just be tapping it all over the place. You you ideally would lay a brick without ever tapping it with anything. These brick are just saturated. Oh, it's heavy. Um yeah, once you get it on your 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 bed, 
Make sure you keep your hands and your stuff off the line so you can see where the brick's going. You kept hitting it over and over, right? You don't want to hit the line, and you just want to you just want to use your hand very slowly to kind of work it into place. Try to do it without tapping it at all. You know what a brick tapper? Your brick layer, not a brick tapper. put a little bit more on over here no just like I feel like the lunch lady's giving that disgusting slop on someone's look if I mean if you're gonna do it like that you just you just put a bunch on and then you do, you just furrow it in the middle like that and it will spread everything out and you can clean up your sides a little bit and then you have a decent bed to lay on okay make sure you get make sure you get a head joint and don't ever put your trowel don't ever put your trowel down it's literally the cardinal sin hold your trowel in your hand okay cut the mud no don't do anything more cut the mud before it falls up no cut it with your trowel because you, you got to see where the bottom of the brick is. Look, you're all over the line. The bottom of the brick. Watch the bottom of the brick, and then you can set the top of the brick, you know? But now I have to push it over. You've done it again. No, I haven't. Done it's, it again. It's not under it yet. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Look at it. Ever been better? Okay, so look, your bottom is in. Do you see? Uh -huh. So you, you have to have your bottom out, and then you and mean? your bottom has to be flush. Like so right so when you cut it, yeah. When I do this, I shouldn't be. Oh, hit it. I shouldn't be hitting, you know. Gotcha. And then you move your top where it's gonna go. So is that good? It's not bad. It's good. I mean, that's. Pretty. Yeah, it's not bad. Mud it in. I'm gonna work somewhere else. If I got this under control. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, go home and take a break. I'll have this chimney done. I still don't have mud on the inside, so I can actually do work. These ones are a little drier. Is this was this here? Yeah, those are good oh, probably the ones that were just underneath were still wet.
Whoop. The new plant that bought out Redland or wherever it was, KF. I don't know if it's KF or Redland. I don't know who was a big, it's one of those two. Glen Gary bought them out and now they're brick or shit. That brick looks like it's a little down. On the just late. Looks like it's pitched pretty down. You think so? Would you willing to bet your life on it? Yeah, I would actually. Put that torpedo level on it and you'll be able to be like, wow, that's way off. Torpedo level. The torpedo level, what? I don't even have a torpedo level on me. Thing is beautiful. What are you talking about? I don't know, that close underneath you is level, so. <laughs> yeah, the one you laid. Maybe that's what I'm comparing it to and it just doesn't look level. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you put straight brickwork on top of crooked brickwork. Some people notice it. Teach you a little trick to laying straight brickwork. You want to learn or not? Yeah. So every time I'm looking at the brick, right? It looks straight, right? Mm -hmm. For it's most people, square. but it's not straight. Look, see the bow in it? Yeah. Almost all of these have a bow. That's a banana brick. They're all bananas. Look. How oh, I'm straight. You want to lay it with this bow, with the two high points facing up, hitting the line when you hit the line, you know? You don't want to lay it like this, because a lot of times it's bow and the other, you know what, bows. Like this one, this will be the high spot and these will be the two low spots. Okay. If you lay it like that, it oh, doesn't work out so well, because you're laying the middle to the line, and then these sides are going to be down. Or if yeah. you put them to the line, that it's going to be high. So you want so, the two points. Yeah, so you just flip top. it. And it's easier for stick leveling too. Like when I'm using the level here, I always make sure the high points are up. And it just makes it makes the brickwork look better, that's all. What do you think Peyton's not here today? Did you tell him that? You told him that. What? For that day? It's like you guys just... Peyton likes being on the job. Huh? Peyton likes being on the job. Then why isn't he here? He thinks that you don't know him. <laughs> Kid, all he talks about that when I'm at night is laying brick. Shut up, dude. Him. Stop. He doesn't get a chance. <laughs> You see that six footer behind you? Let's make sure this is gonna range out here. So when you lay these courses behind here, you're only gonna be able to lay these two up here before you have to parge up behind, you know, to parge these brickwork as we go. Oh, because you won't be able to reach? Because you won't be able to reach if you go too high. And then when you get above the block, don't worry about it, we'll parge it all at once after. Things and go right up the side. They do, can do the whole, right around the whole building and then just boom everything up at once. No. I'm not doing commercial brickwork.
ever again. Because it sucks. Why? You have to pay more money for state stuff. Is that what life is about to you? Just money? Dude, I need money to pay my board, so of course. Just about money, huh? Okay, when you get it up to this height right here, you can parge up all of this brickwork. I'm laying this brick? When you get up to this height, yeah. You don't have to lay it right now, but I'm just saying you're gonna lay it soon, right? You're gonna put up the line like you had the other day? Yep. You might as well. You're not gonna learn how unless you what do you it. Do? I'm working inside now. Okay. Also, I'm gonna need mud in there and brick. You didn't have any brick in there for me either. Okay, give me some mud inside. Give me a couple tongs of brick too. That board's got to be wet down. Okay. What is this? Are you using this for pointing? I didn't have to cut all this. Mud on it. Yeah, you have to go clean that trowel off. There's no reason why a trowel should get like that. You get like what? Like your trowel. Where is it? By the mixer? Oh. oh my god, my baby. Here, try to take care of her, huh? This was my prized possession at one time. Yeah, until you got a new prized possession. 